So in this lecture, we are going to discuss uh, the LL1 parsing technique, which is also known as the predictive parsing. So predictive means uh, we are doing some kind of the predictions. So uh, in the uh, LL1 parsing, which is also a top down parsing technique, we are going to predict what is the next symbol for the derivation. Okay. So we are uh, using a concept of the follow here. It means which is the next symbol which could be while doing the derivation. So LL1 here first L means left to right. Next L means leftmost derivation. And 1 means number of lookaheads. So in the LL1 parsing, we are going to uh, parse the string left to right. We are going to do the leftmost derivation here, which we already have discussed in the previous lectures that the leftmost derivation is nothing but the top down parsing. And number of lookaheads while doing the parsing is 1. It means we are going to predict only one symbol. What could be the one, one next symbol which may appear? So that is the number of lookaheads. So this also is known as the predictive parsing because we are going to predict the symbol what is going to be the next symbol now for doing this parsing the the ll1 parsing we need to compute the two functions which is first and follow so first will be computed for all the non terminals in the grammar and similarly the follow will also be computed for all the non terminals in the grammar okay so for all the non-terminals in the grammar, we will compute the uh, first and we will compute the follow also for all the non-terminals. For example, let's say we have a grammar as produces small a, capital A, capital B, capital C, capital D, then A produces small b, B produces small c, C produces small d, and D produces small e. So here in this uh, grammar, if we are going to compute the first, so what is actually the first? First means if we are going to derive a string with the help of the non-terminal, what may be the first symbol that appears in the string? Okay. Again, I repeat, if I am going to derive a string with the help of uh, a non-terminal, so what is the first terminal symbol which may appear? For example, if I am going to derive a string with the help of this capital S, so capital S can be derived with the help of this production. So in this production, you can see that the string which is which is supposed to come must contain a small a so in first s there should be a, a so what is the first what is the first symbol that may appear first non terminal symbol while deriving a string with the non-terminal okay so first of s if i'm going to compute the first of s so that will certainly be small a why small a because if i'm going to derive this string with capital s there should comma a similarly first of capital a so if i'm going to derive a string with the help of this capital a what would be the symbol that will appear obviously that will be small b first of b what will be the first of b what is the symbol which which will come while doing the derivation with the help of this capital b obviously small c if i'm going to derive a string with the help of the c what will be the symbol that may come obviously small d if i'm going to derive a string with the help of this non terminal d what will be the symbol which may come that is small e okay now let us compute the follow so what is follow? Follow will also be computed for all the non-terminal symbols. Okay. So while doing the process of the derivation, uh, what symbol may come or watch which non-terminal may come after a non-terminal. Okay. So here in the first we were computing that if we are going to derive a string, which is the symbol which may come. But now we are predicting that after us what we will come, what will come. Okay. Here here it is that uh, what what will come with s while doing the derivation with s now follow means what will come after s 
okay so follow of different symbols so we are going to compute the follow of the different symbols here uh, let us say we have a string let's say we have a string a b c d e okay so this is the string this is which needs to come so we, while doing the parsing what we will do we will apply a dollar from our side we will apply a dollar at the end so it means that after every string there will be a dollar so in the in the in the parsing what we are going to do we are going to see the string and then after this we will see a dollar so uh, what will we be doing we will be doing the derivation with the help of the start symbol so after the start if we are going to replace everything with the capital s so naturally a dollar will come after the s so follow of the start symbol will certainly contain a dollar okay follow of start symbol will certainly contain a dollar now let us see what will follow a so let us see this production wherein a is appearing on the right hand side so follow a means after a what will come so after a the b c d is there so the, in the follow we cannot write the non terminals so we will have to write the terminal symbol so for finding out the terminal symbol for follow a which actually is capital b capital c capital d we will have to find out the first of b c d okay so how we are finding the follow of a this is equals to first of b c d so if we see the first of b c d means what symbol which may come as a first symbol while doing the derivation so b produces small c okay b produces small c so that means this b can be replaced to small c that's why in follow a the first of small c capital c capital d will be small c so follow of a will be small c so the symbol which may actually follow is small c how we have did, done it just check it once again we are seeing uh, for finding of the follow of a we look for capital a on the right hand side of any production here it is so after a what may what may appear so after a there there is b c d in follow we have to have the only the terminal symbol not the non terminal symbol so we will have to find out the first of this when we will do the derivation with the help of this b c d what will be the first symbol that may come so b produces small c if we replace this b with a small c a small c will come after this a so that's why follow of a is small c similarly for finding out the follow of b for finding out the follow of b you will have to find the first of cd we see the follow uh, for follow of b we will see for uh, the uh, non terminal symbol on the right hand side here it is so after this cd is coming so first of c and d if we replace this c with the small d the first of cd will be small d so follow of capital b is small d okay and now if we have to see the follow of small c so follow of small c means first of capital d first of capital d means we are going to derive the string with a d so what may come d produces e so first of d means first of small e small e means we will write e only so follow of c is e now we are going to find the follow of capital d so it is very interesting there is no symbol after this d okay so if there is no symbol after this d it means while doing the derivation while doing the leftmost derivation you must have replaced this a must have replaced this b you must have replaced this c and you must have replaced this d so entire string must have got replaced okay now after this what will happen there will be a dollar so af after d there is a dollar so you can also say that follow of d is follow of s whatever is the follow of s that will be follow of d so follow of d is follow of s which we have already computed that the follow of s is going to be dollar so the start uh, for the start symbol the follow is going to be dollar so this is how we compute compute the first and the follow in the next lectures we will see more examples for the first and the